and welcome back to the frontier rp it's been quite a while since we've been on now i do plan on still doing prodigy as our main game but today unfortunately again we were going to do a heist today and everything get some cool content for you guys but unfortunately we had crashed and uh we weren't getting into the server anytime soon we got put quite high in queue unfortunately so today we're hopping on frontier and we're going to see what's been going on since we were last on the server because we haven't been on the server for about two months, I believe, is when we made our last video. So uh, we figured we'd hop on and see what's going on for a bit. Uh, there was a bunch of change logs that went on. We're not going to go through all of them, but uh, we're just kind of going to go explore a little bit and see what's been changed on the server and just see, you know, how the server's doing, what people are up to, and, you know, what kind of groups are around nowadays. Uh, so starting off, we uh, woke up over here in Mexico. Now, I'm pretty sure our horse is long gone by now. Uh, we might have a little check just in case but uh i can see there's quite a couple new things there's some new mexican flags i've seen there's a bunch of these locals like doing some kind of work it seems i'm not sure exactly what's going on maybe they're doing some construction getting some stuff worked on uh we are gonna check the bank here though see if we possibly have any money i forget if there was a tax <laughs> here or not quite a couple people around mexico though for sure still let's see uh currency exchange and then over here is the bank do we have any money? No money in here. Uh, I think we had our money in Armadillo, so we're going to try and go there. Only issue is, of course, we do not have ourselves a horse, so we're going to have to figure that out. So I believe the staples are over here. Again, it's been a little bit, so I'm a little rusty on the frontier. Uh, Mexican Butcher, Animal Auctioner, two pairs of stables. Perfect. We're going to head over to the stables. See, yeah, there's a lot of like workers and stuff around. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing or what's getting built down here but definitely interesting to see let's go over to the stables though i can i don't think we're gonna have our horse unfortunately just because it's been so long but we might have our wagon let's actually see so horse no wagon though yes we do Whew, thankfully we have some form of transport so uh, we're going to go start exploring. So already seems like Chuparosa has quite a couple additions um, and quite a couple changes, which is nice to see. But we're going to go on over, start exploring, seeing what's going on. Because again, it has been uh, quite a while since we've been on the frontier. Uh, let's start exploring. Let's head over to the Casa Madrugda. Actually, let me see the building on the way because I know there used to be like a like a big church thing here. But it looks like there's something different or maybe i'm wrong i can't see too well let's uh let's keep going over here and see if it still is that big church building or if it's changed i can't tell completely all the way over here let's go check it out all right so it does still seem to be oh, yeah. the uh the same church from a while ago but now there's some mexican flags out front let's see if there's anything here let these people pass by so has anything changed in here if i remember there was like i think of a, a weed changer or a weed processing plant here or something but I'm not sure if there's anything like that anymore we still got our good old lancaster of course got a lot of ammo on that just in case some stuff goes down but it seems like there's just still this nice church here i think there was a processing guy somewhere hidden in here though if i can remember correctly could be wrong though or he definitely probably has moved by now again it's been about two months oh there's someone ah oh, drug processing okay so it is still a thing over here just so we know i'm not sure if that's someone or if that's the drug processor but good to know that it's still here in case we ever need it let's keep heading on though check out uh casa madrugda see if that's changed at all and then we'll be uh, making our way into the u.s Seeing how the border guards are, seeing what's going on, and uh, hopefully get an idea. Hopefully we have some water on us because we are running quite low. We're actually about to start taking some damage from it, and I don't think we have any water on us. Oh, we have mango juice. All right, we're fine. Was a bit scared there for a second. Uh, let's head over to the casa. See if anything's changed up over there. All right, over at casa. We're gonna see if anything's changed. We're also gonna check. I guess our telegrams um i'm not sure if anyone's been trying to get in contact with us the last two months hopefully not but might as well have a little check while we're here see if this has changed at all uh last one was 26 1 
Is Fergus done in Chupa training? Your okay, this was a long time ago. Yeah, we don't have any new telegrams. Didn't think so. Again, we've been away for quite a bit. Uh, has much changed over here, though? Obviously, we have now a nice Mexican flag. It's definitely nice to see. Got some people with their rooms. Um, actually, we could check. I think we own a room here. See if there's anything in there. Do we own it? I think we own this one. Yeah, we do. Let's see if there's anything inside our hotel. Again, we haven't been here in quite a long time. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Let me step out. <laughs> okay, that was a little awkward. Uh, let's get out of here. That was a little awkward. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure if that was just glitched or what, but uh, we're going to get out of this area. So I guess we're going to start heading to the border. See if anything's there. Possibly might be some people around. I wonder if the, uh, the guard is still in full effect. Like if the Mexican guard and the U.S. guards for the border are still around. It'd be very interesting to find out. Because I believe when I was around, uh, the guards were around quite a bit, to be honest. I think I saw them almost every time we would cross over. So let's see if they came up with that tradition. Again, there was a lot of people at uh, Chupa, so they might be doing some some meetings or something there. Not too sure, but only way to, one way to find out, and that is to go check it out. So uh, let's head up there. Over at the border. And we see some more flags up, so it's nice that they added some of those. And the guards might be busy. Yeah, I don't see any here. So we're just going to head on over. As long as there's none in that watchtower. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to head on over the bridge. I think this, yeah, this bridge is definitely different from the last time we played. This is honestly a way nicer bridge. And I'm glad that it's actually wide enough for like big wagons and stuff to go through. And we're finally in the US once again. We're uh, going to see what's happening now. Let's take a little look at our map. See if we can see anything big that's changed since the last time we were on. So let's see what we got. So nothing too crazy in these landings. Seems like most of the same stuff. Same with McFarlane's or Hennigan's or whatever you want to call it nowadays. Uh, snakes and all. There's a couple new things over in Armadillo, but mostly just shops, it seems like registry auction yard ballot station so i guess they are doing some voting or something for the ballot station is what i'm guessing what processing yard what else we got anything over in tumble what is this race okay got to fridge station or trader looks like mostly the same stuff on over here marketplace butcher table doctor's office most of the same stuff in tumbleweed as well most of the same stuff in Rutskeller. See if there's anything new around that we might want to check out. All right, so I do know one of the new things that they did add is an art gallery heist, uh, I believe a little while ago. So that might be cool just to see what the actual art gallery looks like. But again, that's all the way in St. Denis. So probably not going to head there very shortly, uh, but we might go head over to Armadillo first. Just see if there's anything new there. Same with McFarland's and kind of just head over through quite a couple of the towns. See what the population in the different towns is looking like now that we've been away for quite a while. Kind of get an idea. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's happened to our house since we've been gone for so long. And I believe the ranch was actually sold off to another group so i guess we can go see if we still have our house i'm doubting it's gonna be still ours but might as well go over there and have a little look all righty heading into the ranch again i'm 99 percent sure our house is going to be locked and probably not ours anymore but since we're in the area we might as well have a look or at least can reminisce on our old house Let's have a little check here. Again, there's no way that we still own this, but possibly. Oh, it just opens up. I'm guessing this is no longer ours. No, wait. No, it does not seem like this is anyone's at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, it just seems like it's open now. So rip our house and all of our collectibles and all of our stuff. 
it is what it is uh obviously we were gone for a while it's probably not gonna hang around actually we can double check if our house is still here by checking the map i believe and yeah our house is no longer there unfortunately but that's probably to be expected after being gone for so long but at least we can have a little reminiscence of the ranch and our good times here uh this was our first job actually on the frontier like our first real job and uh it was quite fun during its uh prime stage when we had like rico and everyone around all the time but uh obviously after that there was a lot of people that were doing their own thing on different time zones people were going on vacation so stuff slowed down quite a bit at the ranch but it was definitely some fun times over there let's head over to armadillo though we're gonna check that out and then probably head a little bit eastward see if we can see what's going on in some of the other main cities see if much has changed again and again see what the population is like in the different cities just might be good to go around kind of explore a little bit since we haven't been on for a while let's head over to armadillo though for now and i'll see you guys once we arrive arriving over in armadillo see what the town's looking like again we're around like 4 p.m est so uh we're gonna take a look at like what the towns look like around this time and probably quite a bit later uh with the added travel time but seems like there's a decent amount of people here a couple people around uh now i believe we did have our money stored in armadillo so we are gonna have a little check See if we have any money here now i don't remember if there's like a, the tax over time when you are like just over time from having money in the bank i'm not sure if that's still a thing hopefully it's not unless yeah because if it is we only have 14 dollars to our name and it's going to be a little rough if we want to eventually do anything again let's have a little look and okay we still have 260 dollars 100 pesos in the bank it's actually not bad at all decent amount of money um obviously we're not gonna be getting any crazy horses at any time soon but definitely nice to know we got a little bit of money stored away uh what is this fella over here or is that just someone chilling i don't know we're gonna leave him alone though because he does have a mask on uh i think that's a player we're gonna also check the storage over here because i think we had a decent amount of stuff in it see what we got left in there never mind uh it's it's been quite a bit and i forget that there isn't like a storage thing here it's it's actually the hotels again we're quite a bit rusty so leave us be please but oh no please 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 don't ruin our only form of transportation okay we're good we're good uh but if i'm being honest i think we have some stuff at eve's landing but i think we moved that all into our house pretty sure we moved all of our storage into our house so all the stuff we had it's unfortunately gone with the wind but definitely still interesting checking out armadillo seeing how it is seems like there's quite a lot of people around to be honest so nice to know that there's a nice populated city now we are gonna keep exploring though and seeing what else the frontier holds I'm very interested to see the population of cities like uh, Blackwater and Strawberry and stuff. Just kind of get an idea of where the population is nowadays. And if we ever do want to come back, try and get an idea of maybe where we would want to live again. I'm not sure if I want to continue the series too heavily as we are quite deep into Prodigy. But I think it's fun every once in a while to hop back on the server. Kind of see what's going on, see what's been going on. Uh, we'll probably ask a couple people, like if there's any gangs to watch out for nowadays or uh, any places we should steer away from. Just to get an idea of, uh, again, what's been going on to the server. But without further ado, let's head over to Blackwater. Uh, we'll also pass through Thieves Landing. Um, I'll probably just get past it unless anything interesting is there. But either way, let's continue on with our little exploration at all right unfortunately we're still dealing with some issues today as you can see but uh we're gonna hop back in and go check out blackwater so i'll meet you guys once we're there Alrighty, we're over in blackwater it is nighttime though and honestly the lighting looks quite nice you can definitely tell quite a big difference obviously from red dead and gta graphics even though gta with like the visual mods and stuff does help out a bit obviously red dead was made quite a couple of years after gta so uh it's gonna look quite a nicer definitely makes me excited for gta 6 
hopefully hopefully we get that soon again it should be i think 2025 so we'll be excited to do that we'll be doing a full playthrough of the story as well on the channel so hopefully you guys are excited for that but again that's not gonna be for quite a while because it's gonna come out and then we're gonna have to probably wait a year for it to come out on pc and go on from there why would he i don't know Howdy. probably some but blackwater yeah. is as i was thinking quite freaking populated quite a lot of people around here Wow, the bar is popping. At least there's at least a couple people in there. Quite a couple people just around, chilling. Nice to see the server is still quite populated with a lot of people around. I think it's full actually right now with 200 players. I'm not sure if there's a queue, but... It is quite full at the moment. No idea what kind of freaking wagon this is. I have never seen that before, but definitely interesting. <laughs> um, I was thinking while we're here... We might want to take a quick look at Gorma and just see if there's anyone around. Because last time I was on, that place was just not populated at all. So I'm wondering if anyone's taken over Gorma and uh, actually started it. I believe we can go there from here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Blackwater Dock. Perfect. So we should be able to get out of here, put our wagon away. Actually, is there anything in here? Might as well take a little look. A poor cougar skin okay <laughs> not exactly the uh best loot and nothing else in there okay we'll start for a little check though but all right uh we can't do it here so we're just gonna leave our wagon here for the time being we should not be very long i believe do we get like a ticket over here or something i completely forget how this works no i think we just go down to the end of the dock here i think talk to this guy and he should bring us on over to uh Gwarma? no this is the boat shop am i thinking wrongly is it not here is it actually in saint denis that's what i believe it used to be um blackwater dock let's take a little look the station marketplace or was it over oh okay it was in mexico so yeah we're probably not gonna be Probably not going to be checking that out today because we're not going all the way back through Mexico. But either way, let's uh, head over to our next location since we did check out Blackwater a little bit. Doesn't seem like anything too new, but still cool to check out. Nonetheless, see that the population here is still doing really healthily and there's still a lot of people around Blackwater. Um, I don't think I'd ever call this our home just because it is a little crazy and Blackwater is not exactly my favorite town. But we can keep going on to one of the towns that I do really like. And that's going to be Strawberry. We're going to see if there's anyone up there. Um, I don't believe I saw anything new on the map for Strawberry. But also didn't take a great look at it. Uh, let's see. So obviously there's still, I believe, that hotel there. And I think there's also like a diner here or something along the lines. Uh, Strawberry Post Office, Bulletin Board, Ballot Station. Doesn't seem like anything new over in Strawberry. But again worth a check as we are just seeing you know what kind of towns are populated and what kind of population they have so let's head up to strawberry see what's going on up there Alrighty, over in strawberry we're gonna see what's going on here now last i remember strawberry was not a very populated town and so far it doesn't look like it's changed much uh, Mr. Invisible Man as he goes by us. Uh, I think we're still definitely loading in some stuff here and there as we haven't been on the server quite a while. Uh, it seems like the gunsmith is... No, not open it seems at the moment. But honestly, it doesn't seem like Strawberry's too populated. We are going to go over here though where it is kind of like the main area I think where a lot of people congregate. See if maybe there's anyone around. And again, I am sorry again for uh, not having a Prodigy video today. I did have some really exciting stuff planned, but unfortunately my internet just has been horrible lately. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with it. It was fine for a couple weeks and now it's starting to go bad once again. So I'm really hoping that uh, at some point I can get this figured out because it has screwed up multiple videos at this point. And again, I really did have a really, really fun pl video planned for you guys today on Prodigy. Um, with a heist, I'm not going to say which heist because I don't want to spoil it. But we did have a whole heist planned out today that we were literally in Q4. We got, we actually got the, got the job itself and we were about to go make our plan for it. And then my internet went out. I disconnected from the server, didn't get crashed prior, probably because it was a disconnect and not a crash. 
and yeah then unfortunately we were just screwed for today so i am sorry again about that um hopefully you guys still enjoy us kind of checking stuff out on frontier because it's been so long i know it's not the most action-packed or crazy video or maybe even super entertaining at this point but uh, i do appreciate you guys who watch these videos even if we have some issues as we are getting a little lag spike there for a second um but i do appreciate everyone who does watch these videos even if i know this video is not going to be super crazy super action-packed or anything it's just kind of us you know going around exploring the towns seeing what's new seeing what's ch changed seeing how the different populations are i know it's not like some crazy content but i do appreciate each and every one of you all that does stick around for these kind of videos as well but again, just wanted to say another big apology. Um, I really had some really, really fun stuff planned out for today and a really nice video that hopefully is going to be coming next up uh, for the next video. But just wanted to apologize once again for uh, the problems with my internet and of course not being able to get that Prodigy video out to you guys. Either way though, enough of my sob story. Let's, uh, let's go check out another town. So Strawberry didn't seem too populated. Uh, it wasn't populated when we played either, but it was worth a little check. I do want to check out Limpany because I know usually some different gangs kind of control this and usually it's quite populated. So it might be worth having a little bit of a look at. Uh, I believe this is also a pretty custom town if I do remember. Um, or a very custom town, pretty much all custom. So it'll be nice to see if that's changed at all. I believe at one point they were working on redoing the whole town. So we'll see if that's happened since we last played. And also see who's controlling it, if there is anyone controlling it at the moment. But uh, without further ado, let's head over to uh, Limpany and take a look. And arriving in Limpany, it has changed a lot. This is nothing what I remember it. At least these walls are completely new for sure. Nice welcome sign there see what else has changed uh, i believe this building was not there either i think that saloon was over there was there before but yeah it definitely was definitely some new vegetation let's uh get off our wagon have a little look around see what's been going on in limpany because this town does look really nice to be honest oh actually i haven't seen the notice boards for quite a while anything on this one? Oh my quite quite a lot of stuff on this uh, apothecary, forging ahead, blacksmiths. Uh, what is this? It's perfume soups, cr soaps, creams, hollow ranch. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Painted porch, those are actually quite cool. Uh, event space at the theater, heaven stables, Glasco, Mexican army, <laughs> of course. Uh, fancy cap events, fancy dress night. No idea what this is. Uh, tea and biscuits. Okay. Another stable. Uh, start wearing alcohol restock. Okay, alcohol supplier. Booty bandits. Be careful of the booty bandits. They are killers. Okay, I want to keep an eye out for the booty bandits if we do see them. Uh, let's see what else is in this town. I believe this general store was here. I believe most of these main buildings were here. I'm guessing it just sells all the stuff that we are used to. Uh, yeah, items. Barrel hatchet. Yeah, most of the same stuff it looks like. But nice. Was this guy over here doing anything? Sell. Nothing to sell. Okay, I'm guessing he buys some stuff. I don't know exactly what. But let's keep moving on. We have the nice gazebo. We have the saloon. We've seen the saloon already. This is new over here, though. Physician and surgeon. Little doctor's office, it seems. Quite cool. Oh, someone in the back in a coma. Oh, not, let's get out of here. Uh, the main build. Oh, wait, the main building's not even here anymore. There used to be a huge hall here, but I'm guessing this is the new main building. Quite cool. Uh, we're not going to check it out too much because I'm guessing this is where the mayor lives and we probably don't want to be there without permission. What are we? What is this building? I have no idea what this could be. Like a little lumber mill or a house or... I have no idea. Little watchtower maybe? Oh, it is a little watchtower for people to watch over the town. It's quite cool. I definitely have made quite a lot of additions to uh, Limpany since we were last around. I believe that gazebo was there. 
but other than that really nice i like the little wash towers the windmills um my favorite part so far has definitely been this like rock wall around makes it feel a lot more like a little secure town and i think there's quite a lot of other stuff over here that we haven't checked out what is this sign is this for the corner saloon now open okay okay i don't know if there's anyone working in here but we can have a little check Ah, uh, does not look like anyone's in here at the moment, but definitely a cool saloon. I believe this is a little different from the last time we checked. Could be wrong about that, but it does look a little different from the last time. I remember the other one being quite, quite smaller. But let's keep going around. Again, another welcome to Lymphony sign. Quite cool. We have, oh, the gunsmiths over here now. Ooh, I like this. This is a nice little gunsmith, honestly. If we were to pick a place to try and move to, Limpany would be quite cool, especially working in the gunsmith. That'd be that'd be kind of a nice little change for Zaville, even though he has been a gunsmith before. We got the blacksmith area over here. Quite nice as well. And then what is going on over here? What is this? Stables? Yeah, it looks like stables. Okay. And then we got I don't know oh a little ceremony slash stage it looks like okay that's quite cool uh also i saw we could do something over here we can collect sticks i didn't i don't remember this being a thing it looks like you can just pick sticks up from bushes which is quite interesting anything we can do in the water by any chance uh we know what we can do though we can fill up our canteen which uh we've been needing to do I think we can fill it up if we go into the water here or no we need to be at a well for that i'm just remembering but i think that's gonna be about it for limpany quite a little cool town now we're gonna go to one of the towns that let's say i don't like very much uh because it's a very dirty town and uh honestly too much crazy stuff goes on there and that's gonna be valentine it's right up the road from here we're gonna take a little look at it see what the population's like it seems like limpany is not too populated right now but I'm guessing it probably uh, spikes up later on in the day. I'm guessing when there's uh, more people or the people who control this are around. Not sure who does that nowadays. But either way, let's head up to Valentine right up here. Not too far away. See what's going on in one of my least favorite towns. Over in Valentine. So far, it doesn't seem like much has changed on over here. I'm interested to see if it's popular though. So far, it seems like Blackwater, uh, Armadillo, and yeah, those seem like to be the two main towns. And of course, Mexico. That was the last one I was trying to remember. Seem to be quite populated at the moment. But let's see if Valentine is. Now, I do know that obviously some towns get more populated in different hours. So I'm guessing that was what the deal was with Limpany. I'm guessing it is a popular town, but maybe not just at the moment. There are, holy crap, a lot of people at the gunsmith. I'm not sure why, but that's a lot of people. Uh, what else is going on in here? Quite a lot of people around. This is another popular town for sure. I think we might have a little bit of money in this place, but I don't remember completely. Let's do a little check though, just to see. Don't believe we have much money in here, but possibly... We might have some. Ah, no, we don't have anything in here. It was worth a check, though. It was worth a check. We're going to keep going on in our day. Having a little look at uh, Valentine. Seems to still be very populated. I'm not sure why that guy was walking up to us with a gun out, but... There's a reason I don't like this town. We're going to get out of here. Again, maybe it'd be some good people in Valentine, but one, I don't like the mud, and uh, two, this town is usually way too crazy for me. Almost all the time, there's different stuff going on. So we're going to keep moving on. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is check out our final town. We have a quick look, see if there's anywhere else I did want to check out before we head over there. Uh, our final town is going to be Saint Denis because I do want to check out the art gallery as there's a new heist added in for it. And it'll just be cool to kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And I guess on the way we can go through Rhodes. Rhodes is also a super wholesome town. I feel like the people there, for the most part, 
are quite nice so uh we'll probably just pass our way through there as well just real quick see if there's anyone around see what's going on nowadays over there i think whitey or um one of the other gunsmiths used to work over there that i know i'm doubting he still works there by now but maybe he will run into some familiar faces over in roads but uh, either way let's start heading over to saint denis and i'll see you guys when we're in roads heading over and past that and uh yep let's continue on with our journey Alrighty, finally over in Rhodes. Ended up going around the whole entire wrong way. We eventually got here. Let's take a look at how Rhodes is looking nowadays. Again, it's been quite a while since we have explored anywhere. So just trying to get a feel for the different towns. So far, honestly, I'm really liking Limpany. I just wish there's some more population there. But again, maybe it happens at a different hour. As we can see though, there oh, is still quite a lot of people over in Rhodes. Definitely nice to see. Now, again, I think... No, there's no way. I don't think we have any money in here because I think we took it out at one point, but... Never hurts to take a little look at possibly what riches our bank might hold but i don't think we have anything no we don't okay worth a check though worth a check uh so all of our money does seem to be an armadillo so at least we know that i think we have like 260 bucks and i think 100 or so pesos but it does seem like roads is populated as it's always been which is definitely nice to know but let's keep heading on Again, so far, Limpany's been my favorite look in town with uh, all the changes they have done to it. But Rhodes is definitely a very cozy one as well. Definitely nice seeing a good population here still. Well, let's head over to uh, the main goal of today, and that's to check out St. Denis and uh, the uh, new gallery over there. Uh, because there is a new heist that was added to the server that we might be checking out at some point again. I don't plan to get super into uh, Red Dead again. Like, I don't think we're going to have another video on this for a little bit, just so you guys know. But I do plan on eventually coming back to the frontier and doing a lot of stuff. But for the time being, we're just kind of exploring, seeing what's going on, seeing how everything's going. Uh, as we can see, Caligo Hall always, always looking nice. But uh, let's head over to the smog infested Saint Denis. See what's going on over there and check out the gallery. Alrighty, so over in Saint Denis finally. It wasn't too bad going from Rhodes to here. Obviously, they're quite close to each other. Now, Saint Denis, in my opinion, is always a populated town, or at least usually it is on most servers, and I believe it was quite popular here on the frontier as well. So I'm guessing if we do head by the bank and probably near the, what's it called, the saloon, we're probably going to see a decent amount of people there as well. Now we're going to head over and check out the gallery. See what it looks like. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be doing the heist today, but still, we'll be cool to take a little look at it and see what's up with it. Now, I'm 99% sure we don't have money here, so not even worth checking the bank. But let's see if the saloon is still popular. It does not seem like it. I don't see too many people or horses outside it for once. I remember this used to be a big point of interest for a lot of people on the server. But let's uh, figure out where the gallery is. So I believe it's right on. Oh, actually, okay. So it's just at the end of the street to the left here. So let's go on down. And don't see many people around here at the moment. Looks like this place might be open as well. Or it's just a sign for something. Quite a couple people at the gallery, it seems. Is this it? Or are we in the wrong spot? Oh, it looks like we're there. So I'm guessing it's, yeah. Okay, so it is upstairs. Gallery upstairs, obviously, as we can see. Let's have a little look. Ooh, looks like there's a meeting going on in there or something. Uh, yeah, screw it. We're just gonna have a little look. There's to be quite a couple people around here. Oh, this is actually really nice. Some nice paintings, some statues. Quite cool. A bunch more paintings in here. Okay, okay. 
definitely a uh, cool little area and i'm getting i'm guessing that the heist pays out somewhat decent i believe they uh compared it to kind of like a jewelry store heist from 5m so i'm guessing the payout's pretty decent uh or at least you can probably sell those paintings for a decent amount but uh quite a cool little area for sure a lot of people around here exploring the area for obvious reasons probably scoping out probably scoping out for a heist or something of the sort and as we see a little tram going by as well always nice to see but uh i think actually that is oh this is i think this is no i don't maybe that's new i'm not too sure i am horrible with remembering stuff about saint denis but uh, i do think that's actually going to be about it for this video i know it's not something exactly crazy but again unfortunately our plans on prodigy got a little screwed today and i had to come up with something fast so uh, i do hope you guys still do appreciate us kind of going around seeing what the population is like around here seeing what kind of towns are doing stuff and of course checking out the brand new added art gallery but uh, i do think that's gonna be about it for this uh, video hopefully the next one is gonna be us doing a heist on prodigy but we'll see if we ever come back to frontier uh soon again i'm not sure if we're gonna be coming back here anytime soon since we are so deep into prodigy but now we have an idea of kind of what towns we might want to live in or explore if we end up coming back anytime soon uh definitely let me know in the comments if you do want to see the frontier series come back i do plan on bringing back red dead to the to the channel at some point but as i was saying earlier and saying just there oh poor guy uh but as i was saying earlier i am uh been enjoying prodigy a lot lately so we've kind of just been you know spending most of our time over there and it's quite hard to kind of have a good storyline going on and a lot of stuff moving when uh you're playing on two servers so that's why we've been mostly sticking to prodigy lately but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video either way and uh, if you did as always make sure to leave a like on this video and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video